the college football viewing guide for week number three. And let me go ahead and pull this up. Of course, you guys know, uh, and they're not sponsors of the show, but I really like what they have. Their product is really awesome. Uh, This is cfb.guide. Now, you can set up your own television guide over here. Um, I'll go. Here's the way that I'm going to do this going forward. I'm going to tell you what is going to be on my main screen for all of the different time slots between Friday and Saturday, right? And then we'll get on here and we'll talk about the other games that I have an interest in. So, uh, as you see on the screen right there, you can look at every single game that is going to be on TV, whether on a streaming service or something else. I am going to jump in and do favorites only. And by doing favorites only, that shows you exactly what I will be watching on all of my different screens at different times, right? So, uh, on the main screen, I'm going to have, on Friday, Florida State and Louisville, for sure. Uh, Saturday, in the noon slot, I'm going to have Purdue at Syracuse on ESPN2. That is going to be my spot, and that's noon Eastern time, by the way. Uh, Saturday, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time, Penn State at Auburn, because I know that there is going to be some crazy magical voodoo hijinks that go on inside Jordan-Hare Stadium, and you all know it the same as well. If anybody believes that there's not going to be... Between having Sean Clifford at quarterback and then having Auburn at home, yeah, there's going to be something crazy happen. Uh, Saturday, 7 p.m. time slot. Now, this is an interesting one. It's 7.30 p.m. Eastern, but Michigan State at Washington on ABC is incredibly interesting to me. That one, with Kalen DeBoer... As the coach. Remember, he was at Indiana not that long ago. And he had Michael Penix as his quarterback. So he knows a thing or two about the Big Ten. Michigan State, of course, coming west. You've already got injuries that you got to deal with with Michigan State, etc. We're going to cover this on the Bet US College Football Show on the Wednesday show. But there's questions for me about both of these teams. I'm very, very interested. Um, and then, of course, the Saturday 10.30 p.m. slot Eastern. Uh, Fresno State at USC. Looks like it could be dynamite. Absolutely dynamite. I'm excited about this one. So, uh, But when you look at what else is on the docket here, we have got some big-time things. Uh, BYU at Oregon on Fox as the same or at the same time as Penn State and Auburn. That's going to be fun. Cal going to Notre Dame. Marcus Freeman still looking for his first win. Uh, in that noon slot, Oklahoma and Nebraska. What is Nebraska going to look like post Scott Frost? Was he the only issue? And then you've got Georgia at South Carolina. That's, uh, hey, I know that South Carolina's got a couple of defenders out, uh, but williams Bryce still a really difficult place to play, and Georgia favored by 24 and a half. I mean, good gracious. A- at 5 o'clock Central, Mississippi State at LSU on ESPN. Yes, please. Like, sign me up for that one. I want to see Mike Leach go back in there. The last time State visited, they put up 632 yards off or of a passing offense. K.J. Costello was crowned. That's going to be fun. Miami and Texas A&M. That one's an 8 p.m. Central time, so 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Because Texas A&M coming off of a loss, that's going to be nuts. Kansas at Houston, 3 p.m. Central time. That's going to be cool. Texas Tech at NC State. That's a 6 p.m. Eastern time game on ESPN2. And then, of course, 7 p.m. on the Longhorn Network. 7 p.m. Central. You got Texas San Antonio going to Texas. Now, Texas coming off of that near upset of Alabama. UTSA. Yeah, this this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. I'm excited about this. Uh, Hopefully, you guys are as well because this looks like it might be a dynamite weekend again. Like, there there is, if you just look at it from 1,000 feet out, it looks like it could just be a sleepy Saturday. Yeah, we don't really have a bunch of great matchups, whatever. You get something like this. And it is going to absolutely blow your mind some of the results that we will end up getting out of this. So, I am excited about it. It's going to be a good time. Hopefully, you guys are excited as well. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.